Hello everyone, here's another tutorial video. In my previous video I discussed about the uh, connection with your MIDI keyboard and the camera connection kit. In this video we're going to be discussing about album arts. An album art is a thumbnail image, small little image associated to your audio file. On my desktop as you can see I have a shortcut to mp3 tag that's a free software which I use to um, add all these ID tags to my mp3 files. We'll discuss about that in a bit. Autumn Spiritus, my first track from my first album, as you can see, does not have any um, thumbnail image associated with it right now. We're going to make one on PowerPoint. I'll come to that. Here's the image which we are going to be using. It's just a random image just for demonstrational purposes. And here's the official album art for the album. This was created in Photoshop, but we are going to be using PowerPoint. Now a major reason for using PowerPoint is because I assume that all of you have Microsoft PowerPoint installed on your machines. You may or may not have Photoshop, but I assume that you have PowerPoint. So let's get started. All right, so the default view of PowerPoint, go into insert shapes, rectangles and click and drag. You want to press the shift key while you do that so you have a perfect square. If you don't hold down the shift key you're going to have all these you know free forms of the rectangle but you want a square so hold down the shift key. Once you have your square like that release. Now this is your workspace. This blue area right here this is going to be your workspace. Now this is the image which I was talking about the image which I'm going to use so I'm going to drag and drop this one right here it's a high resolution and yeah it's a wide image so I must set it up according to the square in the back If I right click on the image, I have this option to send it to back. So this brings up my square right in front. So now I know I have a visual cue of what I'm doing. Set it accordingly, set it like move it left, right, whatever you want to do. Be innovative, be creative, free flow, simple. Click on the image again. Make sure that the image in the background is selected right now picture tools you want to go in format and you want to crop now when you crop and when you click one of these black handles in the corners you will notice that as soon as you start dragging you can see your square in the background so you want to bring it right at the border of the square which you already made right there. Once you are happy with your selection, once it's all good, just click on crop again and the image is in the background. So the image is uh, behind the square. There it is. So now you have the square image. Now you want to insert word art or you could even insert a text box, doesn't, uh, text box sorry, doesn't matter. I'll insert a random design, add my name, yeah PowerPoint doesn't realize that my name is not a spelling mistake. <laughs> um, insert again, word art, good enough. That's the name of my album so I type that in. If you hold down the control and the bracket keys together, you can change the font size using your keyboard itself. There. Now you want to change the color of your stuff here. 
home now by default it chooses the Calibri font but you want another font so you could go for any of the fonts installed or you could download some from the internet good enough maybe stylize your name a bit if you wish Now if you click on your image again and you go under picture tools format you'll have all of these artistic effects right here. So if you want to give it a different kind of a look for example uh, this one right here or tiles or sketch whatever you want to do be innovative be creative with your stuff it's all good so for example I select this one so there it is done now what I want to do is I want to save it as a PNG file for that you go into file save as and PowerPoint presentation save as type you go under these images and you select PNG you type a name for your file and click save now it says every slide or current slide only now since we only have one slide you could just do current slide there it's done go to your desktop album art that's the file which we just made open it up and there's your file now observe carefully you'll see that we have this white portion this extra white portion at the side we want to get rid of it now how do we do that it's simple what you do is right click on this image open with and you have Microsoft Office 2010 now what this is actually it is the Microsoft picture manager once you're done with this once you have opened your image in the picture manager you want to go in edit pictures and you want to crop you have these handles at the corners drag it to this border right here click OK and there you go click on save and you have your image right there now it's a square now what you want to do is you want to make a copy of this file so right click copy right click paste you have an album art copy right here you want to open this file the same way open with Microsoft Office 2010 and this time edit pictures resize and under resize you have predefined width and height and you want to select email large and you get 235 by 235 pixels once you press OK that's the perfect size right there for your album art click on save good now you have a smaller version of the same file right there the reason I make you do a copy is because in case you don't like it you can always revert back to the original one so always make a copy of your work never overwrite never start modifying your original work you must have a copy of the stuff alright so we are almost there now what you do is you open up mp3 tag it's a free software you load up your file click on it and then you have all of these sections right here so what you want to do is you want to add information and you could go on and on ear track genre comment album artist composer all of that stuff you get the idea what you want to do is now the album art which you just created how to put it up you right click here right here in this little box right click add cover 
and you select your album art copy once you're done with that the first button is save save tag in one of one files click OK and you're good to go now observe carefully look right here the file is the same but the thumbnail image has changed so once you open this in any media player it's right there that's your album art right there so that's all of it is for the album art all you have to do go to PowerPoint open up a new presentation make it in a square make a copy of it resize it up add it up by a mp3 tag and you're good to go all right so that's all there is to an album art if you want to know more about my music the type of stuff I do and all please do visit me on Facebook at facebook.com slash Bajagupta music and visit my website if you have any questions comments feedback suggestions complaints anything drop me a message send me a message leave a comment below the video and I'll get back to you as soon as possible happy music making take care